you are what you eat. <clears throat> or really what you digest. How do our bodies extract nutrients from say, this cheeseburger to give us energy and help us grow? And what happens to our food once we swallow? Let's find out together in this episode all about digestion. All the energy that you need to live and grow comes from your food. The chemical building blocks that make up you are gained through a process called digestion. The digestive system is made up of the digestive tract, a series of long hollow organs joined together in a long winding twisted tube. Digestion involves mixing food with digestive juices, moving it through the digestive tract, breaking down big pieces of food into smaller pieces and absorbing nutrients into your body. Nutrients are substances that your body uses for energy, growth, and repair. Nutrients include vitamins, minerals, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. There are two types of digestion, chemical digestion and mechanical digestion. Mechanical digestion is happening as your body is physically breaking down food, like when you chew with your mouth, with your mouth closed. Your stomach also breaks down food mechanically as it squeezes and churns. Chemical digestion occurs when your body breaks down food using chemical reactions. Your body produces enzymes throughout your digestive tract to speed up these chemical reactions. Mechanical and chemical digestion are always happening at the same time to some degree. Digestion is just a big disassembly line. Our digestive system breaks down food both mechanically and chemically. We have to convert the biomatter of food into something that our bodies can work with on the cellular level. The digestive process begins with ingestion. We use our teeth to bite and tear and chew up food. Then that mixture is combined with our saliva. Now let's really chew this up. Ew. We've already begun to break things down, but our bodies can't use this yet. It's just still too big. Then we swallow. Gloopy. This mixture goes down our esophagus and into our stomach. This is called propulsion. There is a smell. Once the mixed up, chewed up food particles are now in the stomach, mechanical breakdown takes place. This balloon represents our stomach. So now that everything is here, our stomach begins to squeeze and churn the food, adding enzymes and acids that break down the food particles into the smallest parts. When breaking things down on a chemical level, our stomach has a little help from its friend, hydrochloric acid. Because we are working with chemicals today, I will need my lab coat, goggles, and gloves. Now that we are all gloved up and goggled up, it's time to see what happens to this half of a hamburger once we place it into our hydrochloric acid. Don't try this at home. No, they know that. Put the top back on that. Ooh. Now we wait. Looks about right. So wait, if we're just walking around with a bunch of acid just sloshing around in our stomach, what keeps that acid from dissolving it like it did this hamburger? Mucus, kind of like this slime, coats and protects our stomach from the acid it carries. We regrow a new stomach lining every three days to keep everything nice and fresh. The stomach turns the broken down food particles into a paste-like substance called chyme. Then the stomach slowly empties its contents into the small intestine. If you're still here liking this video, let us know. 
and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Millions of tiny organisms called bacteria living in your gut can help with digestion too. Bacteria digest the stuff that we can't. As those bacteria break down food, different gases get released. Those gases move along through your intestines until they reach the end. Farts are just trapped gas trying to escape your digestive system. Let's do a little investigation to see how microbes help us with chemical digestion. You'll need warm water, yeast, sugar, a teaspoon, and a balloon. Add one teaspoon of yeast or your microbes to the warm water. Then add a teaspoon of sugar. The warm water activates the microbes and the sugar is for them to eat. Now stir it up. We'll use this balloon to trap all the gas that's produced. You can see all of the bubbles here and all of the gas that was produced. Digestion is now happening in the small intestine. The food breaks down further as the contents are mixed and pushed along. Food doesn't just fall down our digestive tract. It's pushed. Our large hollow organs contain a layer of muscle that allows their walls to move and contract. This movement can propel food and liquid through the system, and it can also mix the contents within each organ. This muscle action is called peristalsis. Because of peristalsis, I can just hang upside down and eat this snack. Absorption happens as the small intestine soaks up all of the nutrients into the bloodstream, kind of like how this towel soaks up water. This seems like a pretty quick process, so why does it take longer than like 10 minutes to digest food? Our bodies want to capitalize on all the nutrients and moisture that it possibly can from the food we eat. That food has to travel all the way through our small intestine, which isn't very small. It's actually over 20 feet long. That's really long. Finally, everything that is left over as waste is pushed into the colon and then expelled through defecation. So the next time you're enjoying a nice burger, think about how hard your digestive system is working to turn that food into fuel. And if you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next. Delicious. I can just hang up. <laughs> Three, two, all the blood is rushing to my head. Help me. Two. Oh, feels weird. This is our stomach.